when that first year came to start a basketball team, how did you build your roster? <laughs> Man, we looked, we looked under every rock and dug through every bush. And, and, you know, it, it's funny, the, the first coach I hired, he played for me back at that high school. I told you about Kansas City. His name was Garden Hoy. I love him to death. Stay in touch with him today. And I told him, I said, hey, all I need you to do is show up to every game. Like, don't back out. Don't break, And just show up. That's all I want you to do. Uh, and faithfully, five-hour drives, drove, got the brakes beat off him, 30-point losses to some juco, five-hour drive back. By the end of the season, he was done. He was tanked. He's like, thank you for the opportunity. I'm out of here. I'm done. <laughs> and he was gone. But what he did was establish trust with all these JUCOs and all these Midwest programs to keep scheduling us because we showed up. And I think we won maybe one game that year. We went like one in 31 or something. Like we got the break speed off us. Uh, and then the second year, just by old relationships through Boise State and college, we started knocking on some doors with some kids and we got a, a homeschool kid that went on to be one of the NCAA's all-time leading shot blockers. And we found a kid that we knew through our camps and, and we found two kids from, from a guy that I knew playing in my Boise State days. And that second year team ended up going like 28 and four. And one of those kids on that team is playing for the Sacramento Kings now. Another kid is on a professional contract over in Japan now. Another kid is on a professional contract in Portugal. Another kid is on a professional contract in South America. And so it's like, no way. Like, how did that happen? And so it's just, it's just crazy how it all came together.